everyone welcome back to my channel i am adina brez and if you're new here i am a travel blogger based in new york city and i just landed literally an hour ago in miami i've been to miami so many different times and i also have some other miami vlog this vlog in particular is going to be packed with so many things to do for the first time i actually have activities planned so it's going to be jam-packed of cool things to do in miami and i have a dinner reservation right now in 30 minutes so we are headed off to south beach i am staying at the mandarin oriental it's on its own island in brickle with an amazing view and you can kind of see the gorgeous sunset behind me so quickly i'm going to show you a little tour of the room and we are going to head off to dinner we just checked into our room at the mandarin oriental we have a king bed and they left some fresh fruit over here. And we have a workspace and ooh, but look at the view, oh my God. So the Mandarin Oriental is on its own island called Brickle Key. And we are connected to the bay right over here. So you can see some jet skiers. And then this is the bathroom. We have a full tub. I always love looking at brands that they have for spa products. So we have the, oh my God, it's Carthusa. And it's the only perfumery in the island of Capri and we've walked by there. Oh my God, yeah, I very, that. Yeah, it's very cool. One of the main reasons why I planned a lot for this trip to Miami is that it's just the end of spring break and a lot of restaurants, for example, have been booked up for like weeks. So I've made reservations probably about two or three weeks ago to go to some of these places that I'm going to check out. So if you're watching this, head to Miami, be sure to make reservations in advance. Um, anyway, let's head off to get some drinks. And For tonight's look, I wore an easy white summer long sleeve dress and my Stuart Weissman sandals along with my Low & Sons camera bag. We then headed to Juvia, a rooftop restaurant that mixes French, Japanese, and Peruvian cooking styles in South Beach. The ride from our hotel took about 35 minutes because of traffic but we were seated outside with the most amazing view of Miami. There's even a small pool with rubber duckies floating around. We started with the Amigo Caliente cocktail. It's a spicy tequila and watermelon drink. For appetizers, we tried the tuna tartare and the Scottish salmon nashi, so delicious. Our mains, we had the summer travel risotto with truffle foam and the grilled salmon. Do not forget dessert. We tried both the Tres Leches cake and the profiteroles. And I must say the profiteroles were my absolute favorite, but they are both so good. We then ended our night at our hotel Mo Bar for some live music inside the lobby. It was super lively. The vibe was so fun. We had some dirty martinis and enjoyed the music for our next day in Miami. Good morning. So we ordered some room service right to the room. And the cool thing is that the hot food is, is all in a warmer, so it's staying warm. We're gonna do a little photo shoot on the balcony because our view is pretty amazing and then we're going to enjoy and then today we have a full day planned so stay tuned we're going to check out the property at Mandarin Oriental and by the way last night's food was delicious I can't get over it it was so good so time to eat some food everything is looking so delicious wow look at those pancakes so beautiful this is so stunning going to see what the property looks like. Carl's <laughs> looking festive today. Loving the color. Travel. Loving the color. Made it to the main level. And it's a wrap around. So we're gonna check out the property of the Mandarin Oriental has a pool and a private beach where you can relax and spend the day with servers. We ended up relaxing by the beach for a while before we headed off to our lunch. Lunch was located in Brickell, so we decided to take about a 15 minute walk there. We headed to a Greek restaurant called Meraki, and it's located between like this private alley. But once you walk through it, you'll be surprised by the most beautiful Greek decor. It is a must check out when you're in Miami. So we just sat down. We are doing the chef's tasting menu. So we're gonna try and sample a few different things. Like I'm in Greece right now and our waitress is actually from Greece and we just were talking for literally 10 minutes about our favorite islands. We just ordered some wine and it is like the cutest environment. We ordered the salad. 
Greek wine. Yamas. Yamas. Cute space. So we ordered the octopus and the shrimp sagunaki and some pita bread. Then we ordered the branzino and orzo salad. And we have a full Greek feast going on right now. Everything is delicious. We are trying a traditional dessert. It's dough wrap with like vanilla cream and then this is cream as well. Or yeah, it's baked in the oven for like hours. Hard to explain because I have actually never tried anything like it before. It's like gooey mushy, warm baked apple pie. Yeah, it's like a yeah, but it's like not too heavy. Mm. Enjoying our view from the balcony it's absolutely amazing so we are gonna just take our son in right over here we got some work done during this trip you are gonna see us eating at a lot of different restaurants checking out the food scene in Miami which is one of the best I love the Miami food scene there's always a new restaurant opening always a new bar to go to there's so many amazing places to check out and we do come to Miami often but we always like to try out new restaurants that we like by the way, I'm going to link this visor in the description box. Got it from Saks Off Fifth Avenue. Super lightweight, it's adjustable, and you can fold it flat in your suitcase. So for me, it's a win-win. We are headed off Wynwood. We are going to dinner at Buya, which is a casual Japanese restaurant. In Japan, it's similar to like an Irish pub or like some tapas bars and restaurants. So we're headed there. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a really cute crop top from Revolve and the shorts are from Revolve as well. A black and white outfit. We then made our way to Wynwood. The traffic in Miami is pretty crazy, so be sure to leave for your restaurant reservations early, but we made it within about 25 minutes and we drove through some of the iconic streets of Wynwood before we settled off to dinner. Buya is a must visit in Miami. The vibe is pretty chill and the food is delicious and not too pricey. For a table for two, it's recommended to order about four to five dishes. We started with the yellowfin tuna sashimi and the wagyu beef charcoal, and it was literally so delicious. And then we ordered the pork buns, my favorite, along with the karate donburi chicken bowl. This spot is a must visit. Everything was delicious, and it was just one of my favorite restaurants that we visited in Miami. So we just had dinner. We're now walking through Wynwood. It is super lively on a Saturday night. We have a hello bar behind. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Look at this. Mm. You got waffles? Yeah. What? Oh my god, that looks good. Oh wow. Good morning. I'm about to go to a spa treatment. And Al's going to the beach. My <laughs> treatment is two hours. I visited the spa at the Mandarin Oriental for a two hour experience. It's called the Kundalini Journey. It's a beautiful experience that mixes sound, crystal, and massage therapy together. And then we headed straight away to our next dining experience at Nikki Beach, which is in South Beach. Nikki Beach is a fun beach club with a buffet brunch on the weekends. Reservations for brunch is a must. And here you'll find upbeat music, DJ, and a live saxophonist. We were seated at a day bed and we right away grabbed our plate of food. All you do is grab your plate and you can visit the buffet as much as you like. And we also started with a bottle of rosé. came back from Nikki Beach and now we're checking into the Lowe's Hotel. It's right on Miami Beach. And we have just arrived. Wait, is it Al? This way? Um, 52. I was confused with this. Let's check into the room. We have a gorgeous king bed. Look at this view. Wow. We have 
the main pool right below us wraps around all the way over here and then you have the ocean front views this is incredible we are going to Wynwood again checking out aim of the restaurant looks really good and they have a rooftop bar so we are going to there we're in the uber right now Good morning, everyone. Another beautiful day in the sun. We, we have a gorgeous beach day. The ocean, those are also the Lowe's chairs. And it's just a stunning, stunning view. Like, this is amazing. We have a corner balcony, and we're just getting ready for the day. We actually have a cabana book, so we're gonna go to the cabana. Yeah, this is a really cool view. And I can't wait to have an amazing beach day. Also, I have been wearing this sunscreen, the facial sunscreen, during my trip. And it's not too oily or greasy. And it just feels like a moisturizer. And it's SPF 50 UVA, UVB rays from Evlon. If you're looking for a new face sunscreen, it's a bit on the pricier side. But it doesn't feel weird on your skin, which some do. I've had some that just feel really oily. So this is like the perfect moisturizer sunscreen. We are starting off our morning at Aroma. It's right across from the hotel. I'm doing a cappuccino. And today we are going to be at the cabana all day relaxing. We always love getting this when we, when they had one in Soho. We have our day bed. The bed is so comfortable. Alessandra was definitely gonna fall asleep. But we have a private little area. Um, there's not a lot of preservation, so it's gonna be really quiet and peaceful, and we're gonna be here all day. We just ordered some coconuts and the little logo. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> We ordered some food, the Nautilus burger with cheese and bacon, calamari, fresh guac and chips. We ordered a salad as well, the Cancun chicken salad. And I'm trying out their, their frosé. It's actually really refreshing, not too sweet. We have spent our whole day right at the day bed and it's been so relaxing. The pool here is pretty spacious. We honestly just hung out in the sun all day. We are going to the room now to get ready for dinner you can see the balcony from over here we have the top one overlooking the ocean and if you order a large drink it's served in these pink cups which I think you can take home so I'm gonna use this for like my home water cup or like going to the park or something it's really cute so it is our Last night in Miami and we are headed off to Mila, which is a new restaurant that's opened up and apparently it's like the place to be. So we are going to see what the hype is all about. I am peeling from the sun and we are going to walk there. It's a short walk, we're like 10 minutes away. The Mediterranean restaurant, rooftop bar. I'm wearing this fun mask from Natalie Mills. I'll leave it linked below. I love wearing it when I go out because it sparkles so nice, so many people compliment it and they want to know where it's from. So it's from Natalie Mills and it's literally so much fun for a night outfit. For our last night out, we went to Mila with our friends. This is a Mediterranean restaurant and the place to be right now. The food and drinks were so good and you'll be able to see a fire show while you dine. Definitely a spot for a memorable night out and be sure to make a reservation. The zucchini fries and the grilled Brussels sprouts were amazing. I definitely must order them, as well as the salmon. And this was a fun, memorable night out. Oh my god. Good morning, everyone. It's our 
last day here in Miami, I just went to the Exhale Spa at the Lowe's Hotel for a deep tissue one hour massage and it was fabulous. I highly recommend doing a massage right in the morning. It was like an 8 a.m. massage. It's like a perfect way to start your day on like the perfect note and it was so good. You have a jacuzzi, the sauna's open, the steam room. And then now we are headed out back to Mexico. If you haven't seen my other Mexico vlog, it's on my channel now. Hope you guys enjoyed this Miami video. We did a lot of eating and checking out new restaurants that they were all. Surprisingly, I didn't think the service would be like as good, but the service everywhere was on point. It was just like a fabulous time in Miami and I'm always happy to be back and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.